Hello, War Fighters. War is hell. Something different. We are going with some Sniper Elite 2 remastered uh, gameplay. Going to go through the campaign. Now, I've had Sniper Elite 2 for a long time. It's one of those games that I picked up on the Steam sale, like a Steam summer sale or something like that. I just never got around to playing it. And then I saw the remastered version was like $9.99, and I'm like, sweet. We're going to go ahead and get this. I'm just going to do a quick playthrough. It'll be something that, for me, kind of mixes things up a little bit. Uh, easy to go ahead and make. So the way that I want to do this is just one mission, uh, just kind of periodically. I don't want to necessarily say daily with all the stuff that I've got going on here. But uh, just kind of trying to go through the campaign as, as quickly as possible. Now, being a sniper is going to be very different for me, too, because you guys who watch my Arma content have seen that I usually play with the M249 or just some other LMG, and I don't really do much sniping at all. So I'll have to uh, kind of get in a very different mindset here. Uh, tutorial is pretty straightforward, as you can see. Uh, just kind of walking you through some of the... Standard gameplay, gonna try and sneak through or sneak past these guys. Um, but I will show the tutorial and then the first mission is what I'm gonna do. I am playing on the Sniper Elite difficulty, which is the harder of the difficulties. So uh, because of this being such a challenge, I'm not gonna show all the times that I die, which does happen periodically, but I figure you guys probably just wanna watch the the playthrough, the story, all of that, and kudos. Maybe if you guys want to see the full version, maybe I'll put that on Patreon or something like that. Uh, so you guys can see how many times I do end up going down in some of these missions. Now, I've gone through and played like, gosh, I want to say three or four of the missions at this point. So, uh, I'll have a lot of content to be able to, to post. Okay, so this is going to be kind of like an example of what some of the missions are going to be, just primarily assassination. Um, obviously, there's going to be some opportunities to kind of pull off some really cool stuff. One of the things I love about the Sniper Elite franchise is like Von the kill Eisenberg cam that they have. I made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I forgot about I had the a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim, and then, shoot. Alright, here we go. See, this is the pretty epic kill cam that exists. It's like, super brutal. Alright, time to bolt. But yeah, so there'll be a lot of of those types of snippets. I guess it kind of shows detail on who I hit and where. Right there, got that dude in the face. It's like super rewarding when you see that too, because uh, it's cool to be able to see where you actually did hit the enemy. And there's different things that'll happen too. Like, oh, tank coming through that way. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'll have to crawl. Oh, nice. I didn't take like a round. Spoke too soon. Okay, it looks like we got a group of Germans right in front of us. Now, uh, last time I was kind of going down this way, there was the throw the rock and kind of draw them to one particular location. I don't know exactly how many of them there are right here, so I'm going to have to... You know what? I might just throw a rock over there and see how many people go just to that that one location. Yeah, see this this wide open area looks like it's going to be pretty sweet. I'll switch to the rock. 
Maybe throw it kind of right there in the middle. Perfect. I know you're supposed to be like stealthy at some points, but to be completely honest, I'm all about like just annihilating these guys. Oh yeah, there's like five of them right here. Oh, this would be. You know what? Let's let's just do it. I'm gonna waste these guys here with the Thompson. They're all like grouped together. Gosh, that was like five, and I used all my Thompson ammo for that one. So switch back to the Springfield 1903. My sniper, and who knows? Maybe I'll be able to hit uh, whichever guy's left. Oh, that dude, like, just ran left to right past that open window. I wonder if he's going to come back this way. It'll be interesting to see if the AI kind of, like, goes in a pattern. Yeah, he's went right to left that time. Okay, maybe one more. He's moving too fast, I think, to... Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit there and just wait for him. Let's see if he's, like... Oh, yeah, this guy. Easy kill. Music's still playing, so we've got one more person. I think it is that, that dude who's darting left to right, right to left, past this doorway. I can get somewhat of an indication of where the enemy are just by the direction that the speech is coming from. I'll have to see how accurate, though, it does end up being. It sounded like that was behind me. see if I can get off of him. Some Springfield ammo. Okay, my primary weapon. I, I did switch for an MP40. Oh man, I'm being shot from... Oh yeah, the second floor of that building. Okay, um, gotta move up quick. Alright, perfect. So I'm like even with them. Maybe through the smoke I can spot where some of them are. Okay, there's one person. Got him. I think there was just... somebody just off to the left of him too. Maybe one or two windows. Yep, there's somebody. I guess another big advantage too of this particular kill cam is it will... Or it does give me an opportunity to get a different vantage point on where the enemy is. And just kind of get some more... I don't know if intelligence is necessarily the right word, but just kind of get an idea of where everybody is over there. Perfect, we got it clear. All right, music died down. We're set. Okay, just kind of run through this area. They spot me? Seriously. This really is like hard. I guess this is another reason why I'm not going to try and be stealthy. It's because it's going to be super difficult. I'd probably rather get into a firefight. One, because it's more fun. Than uh, being stealthy. But also, two, I may just have no other choice. Right, let's try there. See, this is the part that's, like, rewarding. Because it's, it's all a matter of, like, just having, I guess, a feel of where to aim. Like, when you see that kill cam, you know you got it right. Aim small, miss small. Alright, got a guy right there. Ooh, on the move. Okay, we've still got somebody over there. Let's try and position a little bit more to the left. See if we can spot somebody. And it looks like in that rubble, we do have one person. He's just chilling there. Oh, it looked like that there was a red, like, barrel or something like that, which everybody knows when it comes to games. That that means uh, some type of explosive. When Eisenberg was dead, I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. All right, so that was the first or like the the uh, tutorial so we'll kind of move on to the next one like I was saying at the end of it though you know since I know there's like the red oil barrel type of thing 
should uh, should be able to use it. Now, in between missions, you can go ahead and choose some of the different weapons that you can take into combat. Now, I'm, I've got the Sturmgewehr 44. Okay, stealth kill, perfect. Now, the question is, I don't think I'm going to be able to really keep this for too long because everybody's got an MP40, at least that I've spotted so far. So it's picking up ammunition, it's going to be really difficult, I think. Oh, a two for one shot. Got them both. And it's an achievement. Sweet. I'll have to try and keep that in mind. Oh, man. Shot from where? Oh, there he is. See, this is what I mean. First shot. Get it right. Oh. Domed him. I mean, that's not an extremely long range, obviously, 166.3 meters, but still getting that, uh, that range on the right shot, or on the first shot. Pretty cool. So we can pick up from these guys. Yeah, just Springfield ammo. We might have some more guys just out here in the street. So this is a little risky, but I uh, got the MP40 now. Didn't mean to switch, but... Oh, well. Oh, there it is on the on the ground. Okay, nothing else I can get from him. Try and move a little stealthy. Oh man, I forgot I switched out my pistol. Like the the tutorial, the pistol that I ended up having was suppressed. So it was a lot quieter. I could fire and nobody's going to spot anything. But since I was just kind of messing around with some of the different weapons that I can select, I've got the Soviet pistol, which is not quiet. And is like not going to do any good whatsoever. Okay, this guy's just standing right here i'm gonna have to just move up on him and do a stealthy kill up close as opposed to just firing at him with my pistol okay stealth kill stealth kill oh my gosh seriously i was trying to go for the stealth kill it wouldn't let me do it it's okay well looks like we've got one guy is coming at us i just dropped him now, the different markers that you're going to see, which are the yellow diamonds, give me an indication of where the next objective is for me to go. So I've got to try and move there. But it looked like that there was a, uh, I mean, the guy who was obviously running down the street. Kind of leads me to believe there might be some more uh, Germans that are kind of down that road. See if I can find a good position to look down there and find enemies yep just like i thought got the binos out counting four i can take these guys especially at this range if i can get like a good shot to start off this engagement i think that'll kind of be helpful all right let's get the shot off here oh man was that too low or something Alright, I've hit two of them. No epic kills yet. Let's try and move up to the sandbags because I thought it was helpful when the dude was just running down the road. Gave me a clear shot on him, was running in a uh, line so I could lead him pretty easily. So if I can sit here and wait, leverage third person, unfortunately. I shouldn't say unfortunately, but just leverage third person and maybe see if he's running down there and get another good shot. Now this dude's just chilling out in the middle of the road. And he's going to pay for it. Ooh. Okay, this guy's running. Two of them now. Oh, they're firing back now. Really? Now, where's this one going to hit him? Oh, and the fingers. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Achievement unlocked. Fingered. I get it. I get it. I'm trying to get that guy who's stationary. 
Still taking some shots. That guy's running backwards. Oh, there's some dude right across the street. I think he was on the MG42. Sweet. In the chest. I'll take that one. I mean, obviously getting the headshots like the, the most rewarding. But when it comes to uh, hitting him center mass, I'm going to be pretty happy with that too. Ah, reinforcements are coming. Oh, like right, like sternum maybe? This is where I got him. Right, these two guys rushing up. You guys need to realize with all of the other Germans that are in the row, this is probably not a good idea to try and take me on like this. Okay, one more. Trying to move. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, like you can hit them where their grenade is and like you just saw it detonates. So I think that's really helpful when you have like a group of people together, but I'm not in a position where I'm just sitting there aiming for the grenade. It's one of those things. It's like, hey, if I hit it, cool. But uh, not something I'm actively going for. Ooh. Dude, right across the way. This is going to be a tough one. I mean, I don't see any, like, sunlight coming off of the scope or anything. There we go. I'm hoping to be able to get him to fire by, like, me just popping up. And then if I, I can pop up and then he fires, uh, I'm just going to have to take a shot. Dang it. Gosh, those shots hurt. Like, I'm not going to be able to withstand it. Like, one more shot for sure. I can't withstand. And that's probably going to be pretty frustrating as I go through the campaign, too. Like, on this level of difficulty, I can imagine there's going to be a case where you've got multiple snipers in an area. And it's like, I pop my head up and then boom, instant death. We'll see if that's what ends up happening, but since I can just wait and heal this way, then as long as I'm smart about staying in cover, I think I'll be all right. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the meter, which allows me to kind of slow down some time here. So popping my head out, here we go. Oh, come on. Seriously, I'm missing everything. Okay, so this is not the brightest spot that I've had as far as this video goes. Once again, I'm just going to wait to get healed. It happens pretty slowly, but once I see the blood splatter kind of go away, that's when I know I'm in, in good shape here. Okay, just going to wait for it. Oh, perfect. I got him to shoot. Oh, man, he fired really quick. Okay, where does this one go oh man like through both of his legs not the coolest shot there but it worked I think I was just aiming way too low let's keep picking up whatever ammo I can off of these guys this group up ahead is where most everybody ended up going down. Cool. I've gotten a lot of MP40 ammo, which will be nice. Just like you guys saw in the tutorial, like when we had everybody grouped up and I took down like five guys at once. I want to make sure I have enough ammo to be able to pull off something like that again if the opportunity arises. So up ahead here is this weapons crate, which does provide me with ammunition. Uh, you can see I'm basically at full ammo. Oh, German right in front of me. Gonna remain stealth. Get my pistol out, even though again, it is not quiet. This time you're gonna let me do the stealth kill? Okay. 
perfect it did. I wonder if it was, or I thought it was going to be like last time where I'm sitting there mashing the space bar, like trying to get this to work, and it's not. Oh, dude across the street. Move down a little bit more and see what we've got. Okay, so there's three coming down the road. So I can drop this guy right here. And then these guys they have very little cover. Like, you see this dude's just laying down in the middle of the road. That's not a problem. This dude, gosh. Yes, there's a sniper here trying to get us. Let's lay down in the middle of the road. Yeah, I think, I can't remember, was that guy killed or incapacitated? If you have somebody who's incapacitated, sometimes they will have uh, one of the enemy AI like try and come pick him up. So you can kind of use him as, uh, gosh, I guess lure him into a trap or something like that. Like you kind of know that the uh, AI is going to go right there if you have incapacitated them. But you can also just shoot him and kill him too. What we got here. Sweet grenades. Okay, somebody's close. Oh, these guys. Dang it, let's back up. I'm not going to be able to pick a fight with a sniper and these two guys at what's well, relatively close range. Oh, I missed my chance to get another two kills with one bullet. How did that not drop him? Okay, we'll move back. Most space I can put between me and them, the better. Especially these guys who have MP40s where they're just going to spray all over the place. Have far less chance of being able to hit me than some of the riflemen that I will likely encounter and the snipers who you've seen at the top of some of these buildings. Is there one more? There he is. Trying to get him while I was on the move here too. Ooh, thigh. Okay, now there was that sniper who was firing at me, so I can focus all my attention on him. Looking for the glint. There it is. Okay, so top floor on the right side of the building that's been utterly destroyed. Let's take a look. Okay, supposed to be... There he is. Oh, dang. He moved right. Okay, so with him repositioning, that one was going to be a hard enough shot with most of his body covered up. But now that he's moved, I, again, don't know where he's at. I'll have to get out from cover a little bit more and take a, a shot. There he is. Never mind. Don't need to. Really? That one missed? That's okay. See, the thing about, like, you know, sniping and everything, you gotta factor a lot. And I, I don't know if, like, the difficulty in this game also changes how much you have to compensate for things. Like, uh, how much the bullet drops, you know, win, stuff like that. But I know that it's a factor for me. So, yes, I could fire and be like... How did that miss? But I'm sure there's legit reasons behind it. Can't come into this thinking I'm like superhuman or anything. Okay, so for this one, we have to basically ambush a convoy that's coming. So that's what you're seeing me do as far as laying explosives down. Looks like I got to put one more pack of explosives on this truck. But I spotted these guys inside of the restaurant. Now, I could fire at them with the sniper, but I know as soon as I shoot one, the other one's going to stand up and start shooting at me. What I could do, though, is maybe try and lob a grenade in there. It's got some distance, but fortunately in this game, when it comes to tossing grenades, uh, it does give you the arc so you can kind of plan a little bit better. Okay, that should end up going in there. Looking good. Let's make the toss. Just 
just in case they decide to run out. Perfect. Two for one. Somebody else heard that. There he is. All right. I can run over to that truck and set the explosives on it. Perfect. Okay. Now it looks like there's a vantage point that I have to go to next. Kind of overlook this uh, particular area as the convoy comes in. Now I've got uh, obviously to shoot the explosives that I've sat or set down, so that way uh, the convoy blows up. But there's also going to be a target that is with them that I have to eliminate too. So this will be like another. Uh, assassination type of mission I haven't heard anything about a time limit so that's why I'm being pretty stealthy right here oh here's this dude I shouldn't even say pretty stealthy I don't have the tools to be stealthy all I'm doing is just walking a little bit slower and quieter okay reload the mp40 yeah I basically got two mags worth for the most part, that should be okay. I can always switch back to the sniper and just press, I think it's left control. That uh, you could fire it with uh out having to look down the scope. Well, there's somebody in here. Ah dang it, really? Okay, that worked. Oh, two shots from some sniper outside. Now, how paranoid should I get with this? I mean, that is something I, sh I should consider when it comes to, like, looking out for snipers. Because on the one hand, if I'm sitting there and being super cautious, it's going to take me a long time to complete some of this. Hey, another right on the first one. Another dome, too. Because, like, I could just be walking down the road, looking at every single window, but I'll be moving slow not quite as action-packed and I don't know if that makes for a good video if I'm sitting there being like super cautious but that's okay I'll try and play it smart I mean since I know I could take one shot I mean I'll definitely be moving it uh, wherever I've got cover so if I do take a shot and I get hit which it seems like I most guaranteed will every single time a sniper finds me uh, I can just duck behind cover okay I think we're in position. Nope. Got to move over this way. I don't think I can get over there. Oh, yeah, I can climb. That counts for something. There's our target. So I think we've got just one armored vehicle at the front of the convoy and then everything else is just, you know, transports these trucks. Okay, time to shoot that and I gotta get it just right. Wanna maximize the explosion. Perfect. Seems like a pretty good shot. I think I destroyed the armored Vic. You can see we've got the destroyed truck off to the left. Question is, is that the one that had my target in it? I got three for one. Ah, no, he was one right behind it. Okay, they're getting out. There he is. Dang, I missed. Taking a lot of fire. Perfect, he's gonna go down. Where'd I get him though? It seemed like, ooh, like right through the back. I was going to say, that didn't seem like that was a, a good shot. Like that it was going to be low, and it was definitely the case, but it still took him out, so I guess it's what matters. All right, MG42 across the street. We've got this tank. You can see those caps on what I'm guessing is the fuel. Uh, that's what I have to hit to take out the tank. So it's a very, very small area that I have to, to focus on. dropped him still got a marker on uh, the target for this mission 
So I'm wondering if I have to pick up some like intel off of him or something. There we go. Is right side clear? Oh, the tank. I'm like, where is that explosion coming from? I was thinking someone would have like a Panzerfaust or something like that. But no, that's coming from the tank. Let's get rid of the infantry. Shot that guy through the butt. He now has four holes. Well, five holes down there now. Yep, once I get the infantry taken care of, it really shouldn't be that difficult to take out the tank. Who knows? Let's let's just take a shot at it. Too low. Let's go the four. Oh. It is a goner. Same thing with the grenade. I'm wondering if that causes some uh, damage to enemy forces like around it or if it will, will kill nearby forces whenever that tank or other vehicle basically explodes. All right, here we go. Now I'm feeling back in it. I had a couple shots there that weren't too good. Well, here I go jinxing myself. Yep, just jinxed myself. For somebody not a sniper at heart, uh, and like kind of what I, you know, op I shouldn't say opposite of what I do in Arma, but you know, I don't DM or play as a sniper really that much at all. I'm gonna have some bad shots. I feel like I've had some pretty decent ones, especially just picking this up. Cover your head, bro. Ooh, through like the neck and everything. Okay, not taking any fire. Yep, never mind. There it is. Ooh, while on the move. Okay. Someone else is spotting me. At least I think that's what that particular music is. I've already forgotten, like, what is the, hey, somebody's on the lookout for you, you are in danger music, and what is the, you know, you're basically in the clear. Okay, got more Springfield ammo. Don't see anybody else, but I do see that burning tank. Switch to the MP40 since if I do come across somebody, it's going to be at close range. and want to make sure that I can take them out with a higher rate of fire. Even though it does take a lot more rounds with the MP40, same thing with the Thompson to drop somebody, you do have the advantage of somewhat stunning them, it feels like. Like you get one shot and then they, they fall for a little bit um, or they're running slows and they really can't do anything besides going through the animation. So that's where it could be beneficial. Oh, two guys on the right. Sweet, that's why the MP40 comes in handy. Okay, got a trip mine. Some more MP40 ammo. Oh, dang. What the? What was that? This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to run to cover. So just kind of having that mindset of, you know, where's the closest or safest cover around me is something that will be constantly running through my head as I'm going through and playing this. Staying to, to abandoned buildings is a good thing. Uh, plan here that I think I'm going to implement just so that way if I do come into some fire I can just run into a building real quick oh it's coming from that okay so it's not just the tank I have to take down it's this armored vehicle I'm wondering if I would have destroyed that truck sooner if this guy would end up having been destroyed would have rather taken the infantry over this guy Oh, yeah, piece of cake. 
Perfect. Okay, so that is going to be the end here of this mission. So let me know what you think. Like the video if you're liking Sniper Elite. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can see the other missions that I end up posting. If you guys, again, do like it. Uh, this game was purchased uh, thanks to your guys' generous donations. So if you can donate to the Patreon, uh, please do so. So that way I can do more stuff like this. And then in the description, you will also find a link to the uh, Discord in addition to the Patreon. So feel free to join that too. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate it. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.